Hi everyone, my name is April and in this video I'm going to be talking about my sewing machine and give you guys a review on it. Now YouTube actually contacted me and is hiring me to make this video in honor of Awesome Stuff Week on YouTube but I just wanted to say that everything I say about my sewing machine is going to be 100% my honest opinion. So let's get started with the review. So a couple years ago when I was searching for a new sewing machine, I went into a sewing machine store called Sewing Machines Plus and I asked the salespeople there what's a good sewing machine that can handle heavy fabrics like denim and leather and that can also sew a buttonhole and have a variety of stitches for me to play with. So basically a machine that can do everything and this is the machine that they suggested and it's the Juki HZL G110. So far this machine has lived up to its expectations and I've used similar machines like this one just in different brands and in my opinion none of them can beat the Juki sewing machine. So I'm super excited to review this machine for you guys and show you guys all the awesome features that come with it. So first thing when you turn on the machine, the light and LED screen turns on and all the settings are reset to the default settings. This machine gives you a lot of space to work on when sewing big projects and it's really heavy which makes it great for sewing thick fabric but not really for transporting around. It has a speed control, needle up and down, back stitch and automatic sewing button on the front and on top underneath the cover is where the threading system is. It's pretty basic and simple to use, and the machine includes 180 stitch patterns to decorate your creations with, including the alphabet and buttonhole stitches. The automatic needle threader is also simple and fast to use, and I usually get it threaded on the first try. Next, I'm going to show you my three most used stitches on this machine, and the first one is the zigzag stitch. So I'm going to enter the number three, and the machine will automatically switch the settings to a zigzag stitch. So this is how the default zigzag stitch looks like on the machine. You can always increase or decrease the stitch length and width if you need to. The next stitch is the one I use on stretch fabrics because it's a zigzag stitch but it's very narrow and slanted so it looks like a straight stitch which is great when you don't want that zigzag pattern to show. Lastly, this is what the default straight stitch looks like. This machine also allows you to spell out words using the alphabet provided and to use this cool feature, all you have to do is press the button with the letter A and keep pressing it until ABC shows up. The machine will then tell you to switch to the correct presser foot before you start sewing. Now all I have to do is enter the numbers of the letters I want and after each number I enter, I have to push the memory button before entering the next letter. Then you just start sewing and the machine will do all the work for you. 
In my opinion, the font looks okay, but it would be even better to have other options to choose from. If you've watched Thrift Day Transformation episode 18 where I made the backpack, the machine I used in that video offered three different fonts to choose from, which is really cool and fun to play with. This machine, however, only offers one basic font, so that's probably the only thing I would like to change about my sewing machine. Next, I'll show you guys how the button hole stitch works and what it looks like. So same thing like before, I'm going to choose which buttonhole design I want and enter that number into the machine. Then I need to use the correct presser foot for the buttonholes. And lastly, this lever needs to be pulled down and locked in place. Then we just step on the foot pedal and let the machine do all the work. I wanted to demonstrate was sewing with denim so you can see how powerful the feed dog on this machine is. I even folded the denim strip in half again and sewed through four layers. As you can see, the seam is super sturdy and strong. Also, if anyone is curious to see how bright the light is, here's what it looks like. The LED screen does not light up in the dark, but you probably shouldn't be sewing in the dark anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching my Tuesday Reviews Day for Awesome Stuff Week. I hope this video was helpful and gives you an idea of what to look for when shopping for your next sewing machine. If you have any more questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!